Hello everyone, Vampire218 here, and today I'm joined by... Levinon, aka War for 120, as we bring you part two of our videos on the most wanted mega evolutions in Sun and Moon Pokemon. Yee-haw. And I mean, this is going to be super hype. In the last episode, we had a pretty big shocker. And at the end of this episode, we're going to have a, a pretty similar shocker in terms of what? There's no way you'd think that should get a mega. But well, we're bringing course, it to you. Of course not. But at the same time, Vampire, it's our opinion. Right, so we can do what we feel like. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, bringing, we're bringing pretty good ideas too. So we're going to jump right into things with the first Mon revealing right now. What and, you got, buddy? What you got? Well, for the first Mon here, I have Weezing. And looking at Weezing, you know, it's that nice Gen 1 classic type. You know, it doesn't have that big of a role in the story. But, you know, you got to think in the anime, you know, James having his coughing eventually go into wheezing. You know, yep. that made it really, you know, really impactful for kids. That, you know, they're going to see wheezing and, you know, they're going to, they should know what wheezing is because of that. So, mm -hmm. looking over the stat changes I've got, I have its HP obviously staying the same. Its attack going up by 35 up to a solid 125. Its mm -hmm. defense stays the same, its special attack going up by 40 to match its attack at 125. Its special defense going up by a massive 50 to match its defense at 120. And its speed going down by 25 to go to, one, to, go to 35. And looking at the image I'm putting on screen right now, it's very Ooh. clear that Ooh, that's mean. You know, this thing is getting bulk. This thing is getting that defense that it needs, and it is losing speed. You know, you think of, of Weezing, and it has that levitate ability, and it, it's really, you know, a, a Pokemon that's a balloon full of poisonous gas. Well, what I really like about this art is that it's taking that, and it's igniting it. So I'm pretty sure you can guess what the second type is going to be. Can you can you guess what that is, Level? Is it Ock? <laughs> it's going to be... No, I'm kidding. It's obviously fire. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> And we're going to be removing that levitate ability because, again, we have to give this thing some sort of, you know, glaring weakness. And giving it that times four to ground is a pretty glaring weakness. But it also fits because, you know, this thing goes from a, you know, a whimsical balloon that can could care less about ground types to a pretty volatile, you know, explosive here, as you can see. And, you know, an earthquake or, you know, that kind of shift is going to probably set this thing off. For its mm. ability, I've got, you know, that nice corrosive ability. And, you know, the, we got that Salandit having introduced that. And really looking at this thing, it has the same typing as Salandit. Although I feel that this thing, if it, you know, gets a Mega in this form, would probably outperform Salandit just in terms of, you know, this thing could be support, it could be tank, it could be damage, it can be whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. And having corrosive, it, being able to poison those steel types is going to be huge in like anything you do so i really have or and even the poison types it can poison other poison types and that's going to be huge so let's move on to the next one so what have you uh what have you got for us level well let me tell you about one of my favorite mods from gen one as you guys all know there was the there was the sad incident that happened in lavender town and now she's back with a vengeance here to take on the on the world here comes mega marowak Mega Marowak, oh my gosh, I've always wanted a Mega Marowak because look, my first one at level 100 Pokemon was Marowak. I, I actually took one and I used the missing no glitch to catch one off the coast of Cinnabar Island in, in the blue version and then I had myself a level 100 Marowak and she was bae. She was bae. <laughs> Even before Pokemon had gender, she was bae. You know what? Here we go with Mega Marowak. Are you getting that image up right there? I've had that image up the whole time. Oh my gosh, baby doll, look at that image. So I, I guess you I guess you can tell what kind of type this is going to get for a secondary type. I mean, it's pretty clear it's going to get the normal type, right? Oh, absolutely. It's going to be fairy type, actually. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's going to get that dirty ghost type. So it becomes immune to uh, to things now. It starts getting, it already has, it's keeping the, light, the lightning rod ability for itself. So lightning rod stays on, on it. So that way it's immune to electric. It's immune also to ground as well. So we got some things that are going to get ugly with the situation in this house. I mean, to, in order to make it so, uh, so much more viable as well, 
We're gonna basically take them on and strengthen it up hardcore in the paint. We're gonna boost its attack stat by 40, giving it a 120 base attack stat, which means moves like Boomerang and other things are just are now straight up Oko potential on against against suckers. We're taking his defense stat and bringing it all the way to 130, bumping it by 20, making it a bit more of a solid, durable wall for the physical nature. But that's not all. We're taking a special defense and raising it up to one, up to 110, raising it by 30. So now it's now able to take both. It's now a straight up durability machine now, with the ghost typing to back it up. It becomes one of the instantly one of the top tier uh, walls in the entire game. And we're giving it 10 more speeds so that way it's not gonna, it gonna get you know into a into a duel or with some of the slower mons out there and still be viable as in the top tiers. This thing is just pure wall power in the hour. It's awesome. Absolutely. And I mean, you gotta really think that that really also encapsulates another massive part of Gen 1. Like, you think of the games and you think of Team Rocket, you gotta think of Marowak. Oh, so, absolutely. We're gonna move on to the last Mon now. And, you know, it's gonna become quite a, a little surprise to people, but it's really a Mon that is just, just doesn't get enough love. So it's. Ba da da da! Quillfish. All right, I quit. I quit. We're doing seriously. <laughs> we're doing quill. We're doing quillfish. I mean, you gotta think first of all. Its stats aren't horrible. It's got okay abilities. Like, it's even got a really good typing. I mean, you look at that typing. Eight resistances and only three weaknesses. That's Eight resistances, bad. really? Yeah. That's scary. It really is, and you gotta you gotta think. You know, Tentacruel sees play. And That's this true. thing is just a mediocre tentacruel, so why not make it much better? So, for its stat changes, and I'll, I will have the image on screen for, you know, I guess this time, and you can look at that image. And there's, I, I am still debating on which one, but I really like keeping the poison water type for this to keep that nice eight resistances on there. It's just so mean. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, yeah. it really is. It's gonna get the you know the get the save light treatment where it's gonna get some stuff like that. But looking at its stat changes, I have its attack going from 95 to 110. I have its defense going from 75 to 100. Its special attack going from 55 to 70. Its special defense going from 55 to 100, and its speed staying the same. Dang! Now, this you are boots in that special D. Well, it really is, but it also really makes this thing solid, and that's really what you want out of this type of mod. You know, it, it's got a really lackluster HP stat at 65, so we mm -hmm. really had to give it a boost in other places to make it, you know, on the defensive side, have that boost so that it can survive a hit or two, because as you'll see, you know, you think of the moves that this thing has, it can set up, it can tank, and it actually has the capacity to do damage. So. You know, we really wanted to call I really wanted to complement that with its mega. And for the ability, and this is gonna, you know, I haven't actually brought this up with level. And this is why I'm gonna hear hearing his reaction live. Oh gosh. And so my react my uh, ability is on contact with this mon, whether it be offensive or defensive. So if this thing hits you with a contact move or you hit it with a contact move, the Pokemon gets toxic. Uh, no. No! Toxic? Toxic? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Well, it already Toxic. has poison point. Wow. Right? And you got to think, this thing doesn't have corrosive, so steel types and poison types and, uh, and you know, Pokemon with immunity and stuff, they're not going to be able to get toxic. Oh my gosh. Quick ban to Ubers. Quick ban to Ubers. I this mean, just sounds so scary. Awesome, man. Possibly. But I really right. still think it's going to be one of those setup support tanks. Kind of like... Because you got to think, right, Ferrothorn uh, and Garchomp, you know, with that Rocky Helmet, they're doing a quarter of your health right oh, away. See, this is this is so awesome, though. Think about it. You get to remove, finally, the finally no longer do you have a Quillfish set where, where it's where it's popping, you know, spikes and toxic spikes or T-waves. All you're doing is you're bringing out, it, it, bringing out a contact move like a waterfall. Waterfall's a contact move, correct? I'm not positive. I, I can't tell right now if it is, but I definitely know that uh, this mon does get some good contact moves in Poison Jab. Right. Um, oh, gosh, yes. 
in. So you're basically d taking poison jab, giving it a hundred, giving it of course keeping it stab boost, and then making it even better. So you you could actually you could be a complete. Tell, please tell me this mon. I haven't looked over it recently, but please tell me this mon does not have knockoff in its abilities because that'd be just too much. I mean, sadly, it doesn't. It has payback. Thank God. But thank God. Imagine having knockoff with with, with this toxic with, with this toxic point. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Gosh. But you really got to think. I mean, that's what this thing is about. And I really want this thing to get that support treatment. I mean, I don't think this is going to be too broken at all because you still have steel types, you still have poison types. And uh, the way I see this thing playing as, you know, it, it should play as your tanky support that you lead with. I mean, because it really is going to be wanting to set up that stuff. It, its damaging moves are really subpar. It gets poison jab and a few other subpar ones. So. I mean, sure, it can do damage, but it's really like Mega Sableye. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess because because of the, because of its ability, it would be it would be be a pretty one dimensional mon for the most part in Absolutely. a lot of ways. I mean, you're not gonna you're obviously if you if you're running this mon, you're gonna run it with, with some physical contact moves. So I, I get it. You know, you bring out a ghost Pokemon, and all of a sudden, you know, you got some chances. You bring out, you know. A steel Pokemon, you, you, you got some chances. I, I get that. So this is going to be, this is going to be definitely a a, a, a mon that you got. That's going to be brought in a lot of top tier battles and be annoying, but it's not going to be broken. I get that. I get that. And you also got to think, right? You you really are giving up your slot of a of a real bulky water type because again, this thing it gets healing through pain split only. So. I mean, it's not going to compare with, like, Tentacruel, which has the same typing, but gets Giga Drain and mm -hmm. can spin and also set up the Toxic Spikes. Okay. So, I mean, that's really, it's going to be really, you're having to, going to probably have to fit this in your team. I, I mean, I do see this going to possibly UU or OU tiers just because of how much you have to actually, you know, build around it for that. That makes sense. That makes sense because it's, it's kind of it's gonna be like kind of like Mega T Tar, where it's a great mod in theory, but it, it, you have to make it work to make it work. Oh, absolutely. I've been Vampire Two Eighteen here, bringing you the second part of our top six megas we would like to see in Sun and Moon. Please make sure to check out the first part on Levo's channel. That link will be in the description, along with all the links to the art, the music, you know, anything of interest will be in the description. Check it out. Check him out. And uh, make sure to leave any comments you have. You know, if you think you uh, you don't like one of the Megas, you do like one of the Megas, let us know. So, you know, it really helps. Absolutely. We had a blast making this video, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this. And and please let us know let us know everything that you that you want us to know about these mods. These are just this was just fun for us. This was so much fun. Absolutely. I've been Vampire Two Eighteen. Bye. Bye bye.